Okay, hello everybody. Just gonna set this up here. Okay. Let's uh, see, hopefully this is working. Be able to kick off the stream. There we are. Okay. I'm just going to tweet out that we're going live. We're going to be doing some DEF CON. We're going to try up a completely different strategy than last time. Last time was a challenge, but it didn't really work. So, uh, I got close, but it didn't really work. We made some mistakes. We'll try again at another point. Live for a game of DEF CON. Let's go. And Twitch.tv... Less super power broadcast. And there we are. And here we go. Okay. So let's set up the parameters for this game. We're going Hawk mode this time. So I'm going to be the United States. I'm going to be blue. We're going to add. CPU is going to be. I guess we'll go with the USSR because they, they do have Leningrad. It's not exactly Russia. It kind of is Russia, but we're, we're going to put them over here. We're going to have game mode and we're going to we're going to customize it. We're, we're going to customize it. And scoring mode. Yeah, default. Advanced options. Cities per territory, 50. I like it with 50. I like it a lot of cities. Default, yeah, we want it realistic. I want to put it on pause in case it's a longer game. Yeah, victory timer 20%, 45 minutes. World scale. I want it set to 200%. I want it on big world. So, and then we'll go over the strategy once the game starts. Now, some of my friends, I know Druid and Arthur bought DEFCON today, so we might get uh, some games going on stream. That'd be really cool. And I should probably turn up my microphone gain because my microphone is further away now. So let's, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Score two points for every enemy kill. Lose one for everyone that you fail to protect. So, let's start this. Make sure that all of our settings are in order. Otherwise, we'll have to go back here. I want it on pause. Just to make sure. Yeah, we got twice as many units as per normal. Wonderful. Um, we got the music kicking in now. Great. Love the music in this game. Okay. Oh, no. It got set to Africa by accident. Okay, we're going back. Lame. Let's go back. I was trying to make that Russia. Okay. Reset that. I don't know why that happened. Weird. Well, we know the settings. We'll just duplicate that. I'll take a second. Add enemy player. Red. Rename to USSR. Okay. Good. Good. Set it to custom. Advanced options. 150 cities. We wanted 200. And we wanted slowest speed as pause. A lot of these settings only apply to more multiplayer mode. Uh, there we are. Ready to kick this off with the United States. Let's go. Then we'll go over strategy. I'll read uh, a couple people in the chat first. There we are. There we are. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay. We got to position our units and everything, so this is going to take some time. Uh, Philip said, I will not concede in our next debate. Where do you buy DEF CON, by the way? It's available on Steam. I think it's about $11 or so. I would have I would have thought it was free by now, but no, $11. But it is a good game, though. It's a lot of fun. Um, so here's our strategy for this game. Last time, we had a challenge can't hit their cities we gotta try to win we gotta take out their stuff before they hit our cities 
but we're only going to do survivor and we're not going to hit their cities that didn't really work so i kind of had to cheat near the end but we did do a lot better than i would have expected but we lost a lot of our bombers in alaska right off spawn because we didn't have a sufficient fighter clearance over eastern siberia where they had decided to also put an air base so we didn't have a chance to get very far we didn't even have a chance to fly in far enough such that our missiles were already armed so that when we did encounter resistance we could deploy nuclear weapons immediately and even if necessarily sacrifice one or two bombers to save the armada we weren't able to do that the lesson learned there we're positioning our air bases further inland in alaska we'll have a radar still forward deployed but we're going to position them further back the other problem that we had was we had an approach of well we we're not going to hit cities so we're going to have the silos down here and some of the silos are going to get hit or whatever uh okay but we're not hitting cities this time it's a little bit different this time the challenge is or this time the mode that we're going with is to immediately it's the opposite of last time it's immediately use all of our land-based silos the second we hit defcon one to try to take out as much of what they have as possible so that by the time they retaliate our silos will have had the time to convert back to air defense mode that way even if a couple get hit we don't lose any nukes in them right so they'll shoot down some more nukes than they would otherwise if we wait but we're not losing nukes before they can even get a chance to go in we're gonna couple this with bombers which are going to come in from three different directions we're gonna have carrier based bombers that are gonna go down over the middle east and attack from the south we're gonna have land-based bombers that are gonna go in from nunavut and attack from the north and we're gonna have land-based bombers in alaska that are gonna go in and clear out Siberia from the east. This is the attack plan. We're going to try to do this while trying to lose no cities. It's going to be really difficult, and we're going to have to win the Battle of the Pacific. Last time we lost that, they destroyed us in the Pacific. What's the lesson there? We're going to have forward deployed a few subs on passive sonar to reveal where their fleets are so that we'll have further back aircraft carriers they'll deploy naval aviation to go and target their fleets without losing our fleets in the process that's the strategy at least let's see how this works oh they did not register it did not register as big world that's so lame okay i actually have to physically click it okay we're going back we're going back okay well that's the strategy session we have to reset those settings one more time, unfortunately, because it didn't recognize big world scale. Lame. Uh, okay, they're red. They're the USSR. We're blue for the USA. Set it to custom. And options. I guess we actually have to press down on the increase. That's kind of lame in a lane we can't just enter in the value it won't register it lame it does say that it's an experimental feature at least so it's better than being stuck with your default scale and cities so. um and we wanted pauses the lowest speed okay everything should be in order now let's try that strategy let's try this we're going hawk mode this time let's see how well that works okay there we go big world and we can't position anything on pause but we can't take a look at the chat on pause that's why i wanted pause thanksgiving is coming up i can buy it cheaply on black friday based um you will concede in our next debate i'm not conceding anything no 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 I, I, i'm gonna destroy you i'll do the debate but i'm not gonna lose that debate right so uh let's see okay let's position these guys the radar as close to their territory as possible okay we want another radar installation down there it's mostly like a redundancy we want another one down here that way we can guide fighters we can guide some fighters into the pacific 
and can guide others to clear out Siberia, Eastern Siberia for reconnaissance purposes. The next, I'm actually going to set up the silo array. The silo array is going to operate differently this time. The silo array is going to be positioned specifically to defend these cities. We're going to have silos beginning over here. We're going to have a second set of silos further back. For the west coast, we will have a couple silos as well. Only have three though, for here. Okay, so it's almost like a bit of an arc. Now we have to have radars to support these silos. Give them maximum interception time. Because if we take a look at them... Their radius goes out, so they go out pretty far. We want to give them the maximum interception window. So we're going to be positioning radars out here, radars out there. Time to set up air bases. So we messed up on this one last time. These bases are going to be way further inland. They are going to be south to support the Pacific fleet. And this time we will have one as well based in Northern California. And then on the east side, one there to assist carrier wing that's going to attack from the south. Fleets. Yeah, it's just going to be battleships and carriers. They're going to be further back, though. They're going to be a lot further back this time. Keep in mind the territorial waters, right? Because they can deploy all the way down there.
We just hit Deathcon 4, okay. Okay, subs time. I'm just gonna pause it just to re-familiarize myself quickly. I know passive and active sonar differences, but want to make sure defcon submarine unit Let's make sure that they'll be able to detect them on passive yeah in passive sonar it allows the submarine to remain submerged undetectable except to other subs in active sonar mode or carriers in anti-sub mode unfortunately remember it renders it blind with no radar or sonar range Submarines in this mode will not attack naval units, but may be ordered to do so manually. Active allows the submarine to remain submerged, but still detect nearby naval units, which will show as a targetable ghost. This will display a sonar ping to any players with radar coverage of the sub's location. They will automatically attack naval units. So these subs will detect where they're at. Uh, but they're going to have a hard time destroying them because their carriers then would have to get set to anti-sub mode, in which case we can mop them up with our naval aviation. So they, they basically have to choose one. So hopefully that'll undermine their subs. Okay. Or it'll undermine their uh, aircraft carriers. Let's take a look. Set these guys up further down still. Once we hit Defcon 3, all these guys are going active, though. Because we want to be able to find where their stuff is. We'll have enough of a range where they can't see us. We can send out our fighters over there. Intercept them. So that's it there. We'll have couple individual subs for coastal protection and then over here we'll do the same thing and then the rest are all gonna be individual We'll have a couple subs to protect the coast. And then these other ones are just going to make their way to Russian waters and set up in firing position.
Okay. Two minutes left. Let's speed up time. There's a lot we're going to have to do at DEF CON 3. Okay, we already found one of their air bases with our radars. That's a really close air base. Immediately, these guys are going active. It's going to take four minutes for them to switch over to active sonar. Everything else is just going to stay put. Those guys are going active. Those guys are going active. These guys are going active. These guys are going active. These are going active. These are going active. These are staying passive. These guys are going to forward move out that way. We don't have any activity from that airfield yet. But what we will do... is send out these guys to scout. And then over here, all these guys are going to set over to bomber mode. And as they're preparing for bomber mode, we're going to have actual bombers uh, from those airfields get ready to depart. Because we got to get these guys airborne as soon as possible. We had that one in Virginia as well. And this one as well is going to proceed to bomber launch mode. Those guys are all set to fighters right now. We can set some of them to bombers. We will find their fleet. Now let's read the chat as we wait for that to kick off. Druid says, so I missed the tail end of the debate because I like had to finally make dinner at 2 a.m. Did you ever finish with China? I feel like there are two more good debates if that dude still wants to do Afghanistan in debt. If you go and watch the last 20 minutes of it, you'll understand why there probably won't be any more debates. Because, yeah, it got bad. He got insane, dude. He defended the genocide and characterized them as terrorists. Those guys will be active in one minute. And then that's when this is going to get interesting. Let's speed up time just a little bit. Are they going to move to intercept? Okay, these guys are about to go active. Okay, they're active now. We got this whole wall coming online. Oh, yeah, they revealed the carrier position. They revealed the carrier position. Let's go, and they're already in bomber mode. Let's get our bombers out and let's get our fighters out on these guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got sub battle going on. That was okay. That was good. We know where they are. They don't know where we are. Let's go. I want that carrier taken down. We have more subs down here. Move those subs in to attack these subs. Those subs in. Put the carrier with the aerial units. Yeah, it looks like we got one. Let's go. 
Oh, but there's one that got through. Okay. Damn. Yeah, these guys are going to have to focus on that instead. Those planes departing uh, Anchorage are going to have to come further south. Oh, yeah, that's a big sub battle going on up there. These guys need to come in and assist it. Need to get aerial support on there right now. We were able to destroy a carrier and a sub back there, I think. Okay. Got these guys. That's strange. They haven't sent up anybody to intercept yet. Wow. These guys are ready for bomber launch mode. Okay. They're going to come up to that waypoint. Yeah, there they are. Okay, we gotta focus on their carriers before they get more uh, aircraft away. Yeah, we took down one of their carriers. Let's go. And again, the battle here in the Pacific is even, it isn't even so much about hitting their stuff. They barely have anything there. It's just about protecting our waters. Oh man, we're losing subs though. Yeah, they haven't brought up anybody to intercept. That's weird. Maybe they're configuring for bomber mode. I don't know. It's weird. They usually send up aircraft to intercept us. Okay. These guys can attack subs. They just have a very low effectiveness rate. But yeah, we want to take down their carriers and their subs. And I actually really care about their battleships. Wow, these guys are getting through. Base. Okay, we got DEFCON 1 coming up in 8 minutes. We're going to launch immediately when that happens. These guys need to start sailing towards Russia. Now that the bombers are away.
yeah, having those subs forward deployed was really smart. We were able to take out some of their carriers before they even knew to launch. And we were able to take out some of their carriers just with the subs. They can't even do anything. We were able to find a second air base just barely. Awesome. Okay. So you know what to target now. So these bombers are going to start heading up in that direction. They are leaving their base. We got these bombers headed out over the Atlantic. Oh, we got to get these bombers out still. Yeah, they're definitely going to lose this time. Yeah, we got their last carrier there. Okay, we, we got more fleets coming in now. Let's flip and go. Yeah, well, no, we're taking out their carriers before they can even get fl uh, planes off the deck. These subs. So base. Because once they t they lose the carriers, they got no bat like their battleships are easy to clean up. Let's get these bombers away. before the fighters replenish. They'll fly up to there and then they'll arm with their nukes and come back down. Hopefully be able to take out whatever these guys have got. Yeah, that's a big battle, and they weren't expecting those subs. We got these guys leaving their bases. Yeah, they're getting pummeled right now. Our wall hasn't even really been breached. What else are these guys gonna find? They're almost out of fuel. Hope they can find a radar or something. We're at two minutes and 47 seconds to launch.
got two bombers that are just gonna pummel their fleet. No, they're not happy campers right now. Their stuff's getting hit badly. This is way better than last game. Last game I was already down like five bombers by this point in Alaska. Putting those bases back was so smart. I'm just surprised they haven't moved to intercept anything. I don't even know what they're doing. Normally they send stuff up to intercept. We still have a lot of units left. And we're able to see their subs this time. And these subs are just cleaning up this fleet down here we haven't even gone for yet. Boom, they're losing their battleships. Okay, immediately we're moving the launch. But we're not vulnerable because even if they launch, we should still have enough time to reset back to air defense mode. Now, a lot of these won't get through, but we're going to swarm what they've got. I want to hit a lot of the inland targets because we can clean up their coastal stuff with the bombers. But these inland areas are always the hardest to attack, and we know that some of them are going to get shot down. But yeah, a lot of these cities around here we can hit with the bombers. Okay. Oh yeah, first missiles away. Now they know what we're up to.
Oh yeah, that's a mess down here. Now they're moving to intercept interest. Take a look at the chat. Oh man, I gotta go watch that. Started off so nice and civil. I was like, oh good, these guys, this guy's not a clown or a troll, but I guess in the end he was even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've had trolls and stuff that didn't do genocide denial. That was embarrassing. Okay, these guys have started to arm. Those guys are gonna go and target Kamchatka. These guys are coming up near their waypoints. Yeah, that's a big orders list there. Can you keep it on orders mode? Let's hit their submarines. Now they're bringing out their bombers. Yeah, we got one of their subs.
All these guys need to start arming, by the way. Yeah, we got a lot of bombers. Yeah, those guys are armed now. Philip says I need to watch war games. John Bolton looks like the conductor from the Polar Express. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I mentioned John Bolton tonight. The Revolt Rise thought that Biden was too hawkish on China. That was funny. Biden. This is kind of lame. Yeah, these guys are already like a third. The first wave of missiles is already like a third the way there. These guys are going to start arming. Going to go to that waypoint. attack from the north.
Okay, missiles are in flight. That fighter's not gonna have a place to land. Oh, there's the bomber airborne. Managed to get a bomber out just before the missile arrived. Nice. Damn. Oh, another one. Yeah, that one's just taking off. That is not going to make it out. First detonation of the game, one bomber destroyed. Owned. Lucky for that guy, though, he got out. Oh. This guy's going to divert. This guy's gonna divert too. Those guys are gonna all go in and hit the approximate area of that fleet. Try to take out those ships with their nukes. And they're about to lose an airfield. Air base destroyed. Now we just have to take out that bomber. Oh, another one made it away. There we go, we got our fighters replenished. Let's go intercept this guy. Send three interceptors after it. Don't want to get that thing over Alaska. Now these guys are after the fleet. It was detected down there. Turning southward. That's convenient. Those guys can go and rearm at that air base near Anchorage. Oh yeah, some of the missiles are approaching their targets now. Let's see what percent get through. Fired off 120. Boom. 
Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we got that fleet. I don't think they'll be giving us any more trouble. Okay, we have three bombers on radar. This guy's turning away. That one looks like it's the biggest threat. Yeah, let's take it out with what we got over here already. Two in flight, two in queue. Who else is targeting it? Those guys can continue onward. Yeah, we got to intercept these guys. Those guys have the fuel to land at a different base. Oh yeah, let's see if this one gets through. Are they even intercepting it? Probably not. Yeah, that base is going to go really quickly. Our base is... These guys should head up north now for protection. We lost a lot of our ships. Oh yeah, we hit cover offs. So the first missile on that wave got through. Ah, there's the fleet. Take him out. Oh yeah, they are trying to intercept it. There is a silo somewhere down there. Gone. Send these guys down that way.
tymczasowe. These guys should come down further south now to get out of that path. First wave is going through. Yeah, dude, they got nowhere to land at. What's it doing? <laughs> Where to land? Kit. I think it's about to get hit again. And we took out those carriers. We took out three carriers with one weapon. There we go. Let's deal with here. Yeah, this guy should divert down. Okay, these guys are basically at their waypoint. Let me go in. We'll set them preliminary targets there, and if they find silos, they'll help their silos on the way. Otherwise, they'll carry on. But yeah, we're gonna sneak attack from the south.
Yeah, some of these missiles are getting through. they can't shoot down all these bombers. Let's say he has 16 in Q right now. <laughs> yeah, they're all turning around. So these guys are going to come in. Oh yeah, we're about to get a lot of points if this one doesn't get shot down. Yeah, game over. What's going on in the Pacific? Oh yeah, we got bombers airborne. Immediately opening fire on their carriers. Let's go. Actually, we'll give it more time. We'll fly closer so you can get a more accurate target. Already at 24 points. Let's go. We haven't found any of their silos yet, so they could retaliate at any moment. Yeah, one came from that side, one came from that side. It's like halfway around the world. Okay.
missiles away. Can we take out all six with one weapon? That would be insane. I've never done that before. They always move, so it makes it very difficult. Take a look at the chat. Is there a feasible win to go full offense? You always seem to focus on military assets first. I mean, IRL, yeah, that's a good idea. But just to win the game, can you just like nuke rush their cities? I'm trying a different strategy. Normally, you're better off to hit their silos first and find them because then. Otherwise, they shoot him down. Like, some of this stuff must be getting shot down. But, the problem with that is, they fire first. And then you wind up losing stuff. Let's see if this impacts. It, that fleet's staying still. I wonder if I can take out all six. Oh no, that battleship is moving away, I think, slightly. Or is it? I'm not sure, it's kind of hard to tell. No, I want to see. Is it going to take out all six battleships? That'd be insane. One new. I don't know. I think it's going to probably take out four. Three or four. Oh, yeah. That guy's got a turn. That guy's got a turn. I think I lost my bomber there. Oh, well. It took out three. Oh, that's not bad. Could have been worse. Now he's doing naval combat. Okay. Oh yeah, we're losing a they're losing a lot of stuff. And they're so flooded right now, they're not going to intercept my stuff as they come down from the north. These guys control points, they're reaching them right now. We're gonna send these guys in from the north, like I said. They're not going to meet that much resistance, probably apart from the airfields. But then that'll give away the airfield locations, and we can just hit those. Yeah, they're getting wrecked. Like, their systems are overwhelmed. You can see them trying to intercept when going to Volgograd, but what are you going to do? Moscow got hit, too. These guys are about to reveal their military stuff. Found another fleet. Yeah, about this strategy, full offense right off the bat to score points in mid-late game, full defense so they can never pass you. That's exactly it. 
Because now, if you look, all these guys have had time. They're back on air defense as if they never fired. So, and we got Soviet bombers coming in. So I'm, I'm glad I sent these guys out to patrol. We're about to intercept a Soviet bomber trying to take out San Francisco or LA. We got this fleet that's going to be right underneath our armada. That's not good. Yeah, the last wave of missiles are over halfway to their targets. Yeah, that carrier group definitely launched bombers at us. But we've got about 50 or so bombers headed to them. We've got about 12 or so over here and about 40 over here. Oh yeah, there's an air base down here. Definitely an airbase down here. Yeah, I was worried he was going to kill me, so I had to do that to protect my other bomber. Let's see if we can find that base. Where did they depart from, though? Is there another airbase further up there? These guys would have revealed it. That's weird. Oh, Ufa hit 1.3 mil. Yeah, they're at minus 44. We're at 89 already. We still got missiles coming in. He fires on me, I'm launching immediately. He's too close. I'm launching. Yeah, we reveal the radar. These guys will head down and hit that radar. Yeah, I got three missiles on that radar. I don't think they're going to be able to shoot that down. Let's go. These guys are already armed. We could take out that fleet, but we'd hit our own. Yeah, no, we're destroying it conventionally. That's good. Okay. So those fighters are there. They took out my bomber. I knew it was dead anyway. At least we got target off. So that one was able to successfully, it looks like, hit... Petropavlov's Kimchatsky. Yeah, I got through. It looks like we're about to take out that radar. Okay, we are meeting resistance now. Where's it firing from? Oh, well, we had to do that. They were about to destroy it anyway. Oh yeah, radar destroyed. Three times over.
Yeah, they got my bomber. Uh oh. Well, if they're gonna destroy it, they're just gonna launch. Missile silos somewhere down there. You got these three bombers coming in over Siberia. We're gonna set them a further target. They scope out more area. There it is. There it is. Four away. That should be enough to do it. Actually, just to be safe, we'll give it a fifth. What's going on down here? Yeah, we basically lost our fleet, but we took out so much of their stuff. Oh yeah, swarmed. They've got another one intercepting for it though. Looks like they got one of mine. Boom! All three at once, gone, just like that. They basically went off at the same time. Wow. Wrecked. There was another silo up here, though. Switch these guys' orders to come further north. Scope that out. And these guys will go as escorts to protect the bomber wave as they come in. Uh oh. I don't have any fighters to intercept. Those guys don't even have the range to get there. Uh-oh. Nothing's replenished yet. You know, that, that fighter's trying to clean up these bombers. That's lame. Might have to use one of these to nuke it. Yeah, there's definitely a silo somewhere around there. Oh yeah, we got the bomber with the Air defense. Oh, that, that silo never launched. Okay. Save that for later. So we launched 110 nukes at them. But, and they're almost done now. It looks like almost all of them got through. Okay, we got a silo somewhere around here. Yeah, these guys should come north. We're losing bombers now. That guy's got to get out of there. 
These guys are almost out of fuel, but they can take down some bombers. Oh, okay. The trio found a radar. I can't nuke it because they're too close. We'll send... That guy out there. That guy. And this guy. Yeah, these guys are running into trouble. Yeah, all these fighters need to go ahead. Why there? They should come back to that base. Uh oh, we're getting intercepted. There's a air base somewhere over here. They're gonna change course. Hit them before they can launch. Oh, okay. Well, we can't take out that radar because we're too close. No, I'm getting shot at. Okay, he's gonna attack that. This guy's gonna go further this way. Try to avoid blast radius. Probably won't work, but... Oh, we found the silo. We found the silo. We're gonna have to use a few. Because uh, they're going to get a lot of them intercepting it. Hope that works. They might take out radar. Now it looks like it's on target. Will this guy make it out in time? Come on, you need to turn fast. Uh-oh. Oops. I accidentally nuked the Southern Caspian. Okay. Nah, okay. He died no matter what anyway. Lame. Yo, this guy needs to turn away. Yeah, we're going to take out that silo. Six nukes in a row. Swag. Where's Nalawi? I don't know where Nalawi is. <laughs> oh man, that, that silo got wrecked. Now they're going to have subs in the Pacific somewhere. So... These guys, this guy's gonna change his course. That guy's gonna come and rearm and refuel. Uh oh. I don't know, that's an awkward position. Okay, that might be it. This guy's gonna have to turn away. Oops, that's not good. That one's gonna go off. Okay. But, okay. He's just going to go in and rearm. These guys are going to patrol. Well, we killed one of their fighters, so that's something. Uh-oh. I'm getting shot at. Okay, we'll kill the radar. Oh, it's a fighter. I'm gonna nuke the fighter too. Will that do it? Will we make it out in time? No, you need to go straight. Is 
No, they both died and the bomber. Okay, well, at least we got one away on the radar. One of the trio survives. Oh no, we're getting intercepted back here. There's another airfield somewhere down there. Maybe this guy will reveal it. Yeah, we're getting massively intercepted right now. Found it. Went away, two away before they die. One. Now they shot one down and they shot down both of my bombers. Will that missile get through? So if we hit it, it takes out five of their nukes, so they can't launch that many. Come on. Yes, he failed the intercept. Okay. We managed to hit one. These guys are swarming it. Free in flight. Uh oh, I'm getting massively swarmed. I'm gonna have to fire. It's not gonna make it out, but neither is that city. Okay. Wow, the trio didn't make it that far into Siberia, so. Now, these guys got some stuff, but they're probably not going to make it out. <laughs> There's too many airfields somewhere out there. In the fog of war. So. These guys might find it. gonna shoot me down anyway I might as well take out their city again yeah he got the bomber yes they're succeeding to hit the silo This guy's gonna come north. Oh no, he died, okay. Okay, well, that's gonna go and try to shoot down that uh, fighter. At least we got the fighters here now to escort them back to the carriers. Oh, we found it with the fighters. We found it. Every single one of these guys should swarm that silo. Six in flight. Yeah, try shooting that down. Oh, and we got a radar. He'll target the radar. Where are their airfields at? Yeah, we got Popcho Pavlos Kamchatsky again. Yeah, we need to take out that radar now. 
There's another radar over there. These guys are all going to head for that radar installation. I need to get more fighters out to protect the western coast. Yeah, some of those fighters aren't going to make it out. They're in the slash zone. Unless they turn hard away. You guys got to turn too. Oh no, he intercepted it. It's still alive. Lame. Okay, well these guys can... Deploy. These guys are going to have to pull a hard turn though. Otherwise we'll lose them. Yeah, like, get out of that area. That's a splash zone. Oh, and I think we're going to get their silo. Silo destroyed. Oh, and there's a bomber. These guys can... It's going somewhere down that way. There's a... there's an airbase somewhere over there. Oh, we got 10 viewers here now, base. Did you guys think of that debate earlier if you saw it? Radar destroyed. Yeah, no, th these guys got to get out of there. There's a new key coming in. Two of them. They got like 10 seconds to get out of there. Now, that, that guy is probably not going to make it out. Unless he can turn fast enough. Okay, turn. Nah, we're losing those fighters. Oh, well. Oh, he intercepted that new. Can the second one get through? At least these bombers will survive. Oh yeah, come on. On target. God, let's go. Now these guys can head back to the carriers. Yeah, they would have been right over the target area. Okay, launch detected. They're gonna reveal their surviving silos now. Okay, we got a radar up here. We just need to focus on their air bases and their silos now. Uh-oh. These guys are gonna divert. They won't have the fuel to make it back, but they will be able to take it out. Oh no, we're getting shot up from somewhere down here. There we go, we found it, we found it. Now get out of that area. Get out of that area. Okay, we're taking down that air base immediately. We found another silo. We're gonna direct these units to take down that silo before it can launch too many nukes at us. These guys are switching their targets up. Change your targets. The first wave of bombers is almost done. We're taking out that air base. We're going to try to win this game with no civilian losses. 
I don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to try. So far, we're winning. Three on that airbase before it can launch any bombers at us. Move to intercept those Soviet jets. We got a hit on their airbase. Uh, oh, come on. I hope that bomber's over the base by that point. We got another missile notification from down here. Take out that target. This guy can divert to that location. These guys can divert down there. They'll probably get all their stuff. Yeah, airbase destroyed. No more interceptors to deal with. Now, how many nukes are they going to get away? They just started launching. They probably got two off on this silo already. Those silos we're not going to be able to take out. These guys don't have any more nukes left. There's a silo up there. These guys should be on patrol. Yeah, so their main retaliation's underway right now. Yeah, they got another launch off from this silo. We found their air base and they are deploying bombers. Okay. I don't have any subs in their range yet. Oh, 
Oh, he found something. He's got like no fuel left, but we did find a Soviet bomber out here. See if he can take him down. 12 seconds to launch. Come on, you're about to crash in the water. Come on, get one, get one sidewinder away. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, no, he's gonna get another chance. Four, three, two, one. Yes, yes! Okay, he went down in that. That was too close, but he was gonna ditch anyway. He took out that bomber. Base. That's base. What a legend. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're launching their bombers now. Okay. Yeah, all these fighters got to move to intercept. Oh yeah, one ran out of fuel or something. Another launch away. Light, no defenses. That's going to go down. Yeah, we want those fighters to be away from the base. Yeah, we're going to take out that silo. Like Arthur says, oh yeah, we got a lot of people here. Okay, I'll take a look in a second. There's a lot going on right now though. Oh man, are we gonna take out that bomber too? That'd be a two for one. No, he survived. He survived, but we got the silo. We got the silo. Oh yeah, these guys gotta intercept that bomber.
Okay, these guys are approaching the silo near Vladivostok. over there. Let's move these guys in to investigate. Wait, we gotta get the guy on bomber launch mode. We gotta get that stuff out of there. Before they hit the airbase. is detected. Let's see, I think this is as good as it gets, says Druid. Boom, that's what I'm saying. Don't F around in the ocean, just get there and nuke them. Uh, let's see. Six nukes to take out a potential five that maybe won't even hit. Doesn't seem like a great trade. It does reduce their defensive capabilities. No, that, see, that's the thing. It's about getting rid of their interception so that you can press forward inland. Because they can shoot down your stuff too. They're not just launchers, they're also anti air. So that's why you gotta take them out. Plus, five of mine on their military to protect five of my cities potentially is worth it. So, especially as far as scoring is concerned. Because you don't lose score for wasting nukes, you do lose score for not protecting cities. Like, I basically have 398 nukes to make sure that they don't get any through. How many do we have left? We have 132 nukes left. But I think that's active operational ones, because these ones in storage don't count. So you can rearm. So you actually have, like, closer to, like, 600 nukes. Okay, these guys are leaving the airfield because I'm not sure if they know where that airfield is. They definitely know where my silos are. They're definitely going to be targeting my silos. Silos have already expended their arsenal, though. And we got a pretty good payoff for it. But they're still going to be able to get away. How many is this? We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus half of eight. We're going to have 75 nukes coming at us. We were able to take out 45. Oh, yeah, we can see the first one approaching North America now. These guys are going to move to intercept in a couple of minutes.
Oh, one of them gets shot down down here. Yeah, we got nukes coming in right now. Not sure where they're hitting. Probably going to be targeted at cities, so... We should get these fighters away anyway. Just in case they try to hit the surrounding area. Okay, we got a hit on their silo. They were probably finished launching though. Okay, we got three interceptors going on this one new coming up. It's gonna happen. First to 75. Each one of these has a 25% chance. No. Yeah, we got it. Nice. some kind of activity down there. Oh, bomber launch mode. Okay, let's get that guy out of there. Maybe another 40 seconds before he can leave the airfield. Okay, another nuke coming in. These guys are still a long way out from their targets. Hawk Arthur says, just barely woke up, tired, becoming a day person, but I'm just a gay person. <laughs> Philip says, Julian Jones is uh, in the death penalty tonight. If Rittenhouse verdict and Julius Jones verdict occurs the same day, it's going to cause massive riots. Hawk Arthur asks, are you going to spare my citizens, Kevoid? I'm going to nuke yours. Well, I'm not going to tell you my strategy, but... <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of these guys coming in on the West Coast now. Okay, they hit a radar installation. At least we had two extras over here just for redundancy. Yeah, they might hit these airfields. That bomber's away. Yeah, that air base is empty now. So it looks like that bomber's gonna escape. Uh oh, we're getting intercepted. There's an airfield somewhere over there.
Oh no, they're gonna hit that silo. Yeah, they hit my silo. Good news is we lost no nukes. Because they were already used. So, they're just down to three health. Wait, where were they? Oh, they shot down a missile. Yeah. Nice. Oh, but we did lose. Oh, we lost zero people. Less than 100,000 people. Okay, they're going for the silo, I think. Yeah, they hit the silo. Oh, well, it could be worse. Oh, we got more fighters. Let's get these fighters away before those bases get hit. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got a bomber coming in here. Okay. So these guys are going to have to go and uh, try to intercept that before it can launch. Not sure where their carrier group was. Oh no, that one might get through. Oh no, they managed to launch. Uh-oh. That makes that even more annoying. Yeah. Okay, we had an interception. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we intercepted it. It looked like they were targeting that silo. This one looks like it's targeting San Francisco, though. It's already halfway through. Oh no, they got a fighter there coming to intercept me. Lame. Yeah, we intercepted it right before it was able to hit San Francisco. And we got a couple more coming in. Okay, we got more coming in over North America. Now he's about to intercept me. And I'm not going to have... What can I fire at? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gone anyway. I'm going to bring this guy out over to rearm. Oh, we found the fleet. Okay. Take out the fleet. Yeah, now this is where the system starts to get overwhelmed, I think. Could have been a lot worse, but we got two over here. We got another set coming in. 
west coast is going to be really screwed. You know, it looks like they're just targeting the silos, though. Yeah, they were able to hit these silos. Oh, well. There's nothing left in them. So. Oh, we got a, a fighter leaving, or we got a bomber leaving that airbase right now. Got another hit. They got another hit on a silo. Okay, well, I got their city at least with that bomber they took out. So they're coming, I think, to attack the fleet. Oh, we got another one. Nice. Yeah, they got a hit on my silo. We got another hit on the silo. Wait, no, don't intercept him. Missiles are too close to mine. They'll, they'll destroy both of us. No, we'll have to let him get through. Oh yeah, the West Coast has the big swarm and only 25% of the defenses. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to attack the silo. Oh yeah, 10 seconds to launch. Now nah, he's going to get through. That silo, I think, is gone. And... Sudbury lost 100,000. Okay. And we lost that radar. Oh, that's a big portion of the fleet. Okay, they shut down all of our stuff. destroyed oh another target on a non-existent silo okay nice nice so far we've lost what 200,000 people
Yeah, that was just from cities that were close to silos. Yeah, they're deploying everything now from that airbase. Yeah, the West Coast is doing better than I would have thought. So you only got one, two, three along the coast. But we do have these two up in uh, Canada, at least. Yeah, I'm not sure these turn ratios are realistic. Yeah, the radius. Yeah, no, I know, right? <laughs> okay. I do not like that fighter being there. Come on. No, he's taking out my bombers. Bro. Bro. No way, these guys gotta fly north. These guys gotta turn. They're gonna be in the blast radius. No way. No way. Oops. Oops. Come on, turn. Uh oh. What did we lose? Okay, we lost more of the silos. We don't have as much to intercept with. Oh, no. Nah, they're going to get through. Yeah, we, we don't have the... Oh, no. Unless 3, 2, 1, it's away. Nah, they're going to get New York. Okay. Yeah, they got New York. Okay. Oh, you tried. Okay, well, at least me will be able to hit that bomber. I don't think that bomber's gonna get out in time. It just took off. Come on, let's see what's gonna happen. At least these guys turned quickly enough. I don't think we'll lose any of ours. Yeah, he didn't get far enough away from the base. That base is destroyed. These guys are going to have to turn this way. There's an air base over here. Okay, another radar installation. We can't hit it because we'll be right over the blast area. What's going on down here? Okay. So, more stuff's getting intercepted at least. They've hit some of our silos. Looks like... Oh, yeah, we intercepted one right there. Looks like a lot of these were targeted at our silos, so... But only one of those silos didn't fire. That was this one over near Portland. So... That one's still alive. That one hasn't taken any hits. Okay, bomber launch mode is available again. Let's go. Definitely an airbase somewhere up here near Norales.
Okay, they got San Francisco. Where's Weiss or Nanawi? I, <laughs> I'm not sure. I haven't checked Twitter. Yeah, stay on target. Believe same of these guys, but whatever. The intercepted it. Yeah, we're losing more stuff. destroyed.
Big three timer started. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'll change the targets.
their attack is over. They got a, they got nine points. We're at seventy nine.
when are we playing kevin uh i might be able to play tomorrow uh huck arthur says if reese gets this the game he should choose europe and name his country the 69th reich <laughs> <laughs> oh man I don't think they have anything left. We're just trying to maximize points now. Let's uh, fast forward. Uh oh. They're gonna shoot me down. Might as well just uh, fire them anyway. One seconds left. Varen Edge still hasn't been hit. No, Varen Edge is going to be their biggest city that survives. Let's see what else they had. Victory to USA. Oh, okay. So they had another fleet down there. Sub down here. Couple things there. Nothing left in the Atlantic. They had some radars. Oh, that base was way over there. That base is way over there. Okay. I was expecting their air base to basically be around here way further inland so we got 84.8 and they got 31 million we got a score of 138 they got minus 23 game over okay well thanks for tuning in so we got a couple people who've got this game now so we'll have to get a game together uh have a good night everybody if you want to support me be sure to sub and uh go check out that debate earlier that was crazy so have a good night everybody take care and stay based